Conduction takes place at a microscopic level. In conduction, heat transfer takes place due to a temperature difference in a body or between bodies in thermal contact without the mixing of their mass. Atoms or molecules at higher temperatures have high levels of energy. Through vibration, this energy is passed on to neighboring atoms and molecules. Or we can say vibrating atoms and molecules transfer a part of their energy to neighboring molecules and atoms. This kind of heat transfer can take place between two or more substances or throughout a substance. Now let's have a look at some examples of conducting heat through conduction. When a car is turned on, the engine becomes hot and the hood becomes warm because the heat is conducted from the engine to the hood. The cup, which is carrying hot coffee or hot tea, becomes hot and this is due to conducting heat. If we hold an ice cube in our hand, it melts because the heat is being conducted from our hand to the ice cube. Hot food turns the plate hot. This is also conducting of heat. Placing a pan on the burner or stove makes the pan or the pot hot due to conducting of heat. Now let's learn what is convection. Convection is the mode of heat transfer in which fluids are moved in order to transfer heat. Now let's understand with the help of an example. Boiling water is an example of heat transfer through convection. First of all, a hot surface or flames heat up the pot. Heat transfers from the bottom layer of the pot to the bottom layer of the water. The warmer water moves upwards and the cooler water moves downwards. And this cycle continues this way. Heated water is constantly replaced by cooler water in a circular manner. This way a transfer of heat is known as convection. So here is the actual movement of heated atoms and molecules. Whereas in conduction, the heat is transferred through vibration. Atoms or molecules do not leave their original position. Now let's have some examples of heating through convection. Radiator. The radiator puts warm air out at the top and draws in cooler air at the bottom. Steam coming from a hot cup of coffee is an example of heat transfer through convection, as the steam is transferring heat from the coffee to the surrounding air through convection. Melting of ice is also an example of heat transfer through convection, as heat transfers from the surrounding air to the ice through convection. Hot air balloons are also examples of heat transfer through convection, as a heater inside the balloon heats the air and so the air moves upwards. This causes the balloon to rise because the hot air gets trapped inside. And when the pilot wants to descend or to come downward, he releases some of the hot air, and cool air takes its place, which causes the balloon to come downwards. This was about convection. Let's repeat. Convection is the mode of heat transfer in which atoms or molecules actually move to transfer the heat. And in the case of conduction, there is no movement of molecules from one place to the other. Molecules only vibrate to transfer energy to the next molecule. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye